We already used query here to place Swift data objects into a list on our screen. And with a little bit more work, we can get both swipe to delete and also an edit done button working really nicely in our UI. Now, just as with regular arrays of data, most of the work here is being done by attaching an on delete perform modifier to this for each here. But rather than removing items from the array, we instead want to find the requested object inside our query and then call delete on our model context, passing in that object. We're saying delete this thing here to the model context. So it knows what to delete. And once all the objects are deleted, Swift Data's autosave kicks in and applies the changes permanently, writes them out to storage. So first things first, we're gonna add a new method here to our content view, hungry are we? Uh, we'll do func delete books at offsets index set here. And now we'll loop over all the offsets in that thing. We'll say uh, for offset, offsets even, not offset here, offsets for offset in offsets. We'll first find this book in our uh, current query here. We'll say, uh, let the book, get off dog, let book be our books at that offset and then delete this from the model context. So we'll call model context dot delete with the book. So go over all the things we've been asked to delete, find each book in our query result array and then call delete on it here. And we can trigger that by attaching an on delete perform modifier up here to our for each. That is one here. We'll say on delete perform. Ah, thank you again, Xcode, for filling out the horrible version of it. On delete perform, and delete books like that. And that'll get a swipe delete. Hopefully, let's find out. Let's press Command R. Uh, and swipe, and there we go, looking very nicely. We can go one better now. I wanna add an edit done button as well. So we have this toolbar modifier here. You can see it's got one button with top bar trailing. I'm gonna add another uh, toolbar item here. We'll say toolbar item with placement of dot top bar leading. So the left edge in left to right languages and simply write edit button, open and close like that. And that'll toggle our list between editing and not editing mode. So I'll press edit like this. Up pops a sort of a delete sign, press that and we can press delete and then done, delete editing mode. So that completes uh, content view. Please go ahead and try running the app. You should be able to add and delete books freely and edit the uh, done button will work nicely and a swipe to delete will work as well. We're getting there slowly.